Development in Warner Robins has a new face and city officials hope a fresh start. This comes after years of legal and political fights involving former economic development director Gary Lee. Lee held the job for 14 years, but feuded with Mayor Randy Toms and others. Two years ago, a Houston grand jury indicted him on charges of falsely reporting a crime and making false statements to investigators. He was suspended with pay, then reinstated. Those charges are still pending. Soon after, Kimberly Black, a woman who worked in Lee's department, filed a federal lawsuit saying he punished her for talking to investigators about his case. That case is also still pending. This spring, Warner Robins Council abolished Lee's job and combined his economic development office with another department. Toms said Lee's history had nothing to do with the change. He said the city's development office simply wasn't getting the job done. Monday night, City Council hired Centerville's Director of Economic Development, Kate Hogan, to run that combined Department of Community and Economic Development in Warner Robins. Kalisha Moore spoke to Hogan and the mayor about the transition and their plans for improving the international city. City of Warner Robins says it has big plans for the community and for economic development. To help get them accomplished, they've hired a familiar face. Kate Hogan is the newest member of the Warner Robins development team, coming in as the community and economic development director. Warner Robins has so much potential, and through the reorganization of the community and economic development departments, we've got a great opportunity to really capitalize on some current momentum. Hogan says as director, stabilization is important to her. Making sure that our neighborhoods have the stabilization that they need, that we're addressing failing homes, we're addressing distressed neighborhoods, we can make sure that we're actively fighting against things that are bringing our neighborhood down while also creating opportunities for public green spaces throughout those neighborhoods. Mayor Randy Toms had a hand in the hiring, saying he'd considered several applicants, but the process was quick. He says her experience really sealed the deal. Uh, she just stands out, I mean, with, with her experience, and not just the experience, but the experience that we know. I mean, we've seen it um, you know, active in the city of Centerville and in our, in our community here. And so uh, she was just a natural fit. Tom's told me he'd like to see Hogan develop some kind of start in vibrancy downtown, something she already has on her checklist. The city of Warner Robins has a robust um, need for a downtown area, and I know that mayor and council have really set that out. I think that using some new urbanism planning methods, we can really just capitalize on building out lifestyle centers throughout the community that are representative of exactly what each neighborhood needs. And Warner Robins, Kalisha Moore, 13 WMAZ News. Kate Hogan also says her list as director includes small business incubator space and more green spaces.